so this is a video on proc iml proc iml is uh, a matrix extension of sas programming language you might have heard about base sas sas macro and there is an addition to the uh, sas programming languages uh, in the in the form of sas iml so iml stands for integrated matrix language SAS IML is like uh, any other uh, matrix programming language uh, like MATLAB. So what is the speciality about uh, IML? Well, uh, we can handle data using vector and matrices. So it is expected that we know a little bit of uh, matrix algebra while programming in SAS IML. SAS IML has a lot of advantage over uh, SAS, base SAS and uh, SAS macro. Uh, there are a lot of built-in functions available so you can uh, use it directly. And then um, IML is a different uh, type, you know, you know, you can, you can write uh, a different uh, structure of code in IML. It's, it's very interactive in nature. So sometimes it is easier coding in uh, IML than uh, coding uh, using base as programs. Um, if, if you want to write a module uh, which will do a statistical analysis for you, uh, proc IML is preferred basically um, uh, over the base as um, and it's also easier to manage the code so uh, you know it's it's very useful so let's get started proc IML so this is the first thing you need to write so uh, I'll create a matrix A and I'll assign it as 2 and then I'll print the map, print what is there in the matrix, and then I'll quit. So this is the basic syntax of proc IML. Let me run it. In the output, you can see it is uh, two. Now what if I want uh, two values in the matrix? So. I put the curly bracket so uh, you can see there are three uh, three columns so if you want to put it in uh, row just put uh, one comma here and in the result you can see uh, there is only one column and three rows you can do basic matrix operation using this um, say for example you want to add a number to each of the uh, each of the uh, element of the matrix A and call it matrix B. So B is nothing but A plus 2. So I am adding 2 to each and every element of uh, A and then I am printing B. Let's print A and B both. Well, you can see that to each and every element of A, 2 is being added. Okay. Similarly, you can subtract, you can multiply, you can do whatever operation you want to do. We can add uh, 
two matrices also. So let's have another matrix C, which is uh, the sum of A and B. And let's print uh, C as well. So A and B are there, and then C is just the sum of A and B. So you can take uh, you can take uh, whatever transformation or variable you want to uh, do, and you can uh, you know do all the uh, mathematical operation that you want to do. Some uh, you can subtract, you can uh, multiply a scalar with the matrix. You can take sum of all the numbers in the matrix, and then you can square the matrix if you want to. Take the sum of the matrix, I'll create D, which is sum of C. Okay, so sum means it, it will it will uh, just add it up and it will give you a number. Okay, we're not printing D, let's print only D. So you can see it's 27. It's the sum of uh, all the numbers. If you want to uh, square a matrix, let's have another matrix. H or maybe S which is square of A. So A and then I'll print S. So you can see that uh, you know the matrix S has the square of the elements of matrix A. So similarly, we can explore many other uh, you know mathematical operation with uh, IML. So this lecture, this video was uh, basically on the introduction to IML. Uh, we'll continue with a uh, lot more uh, videos. So uh, do go through the other videos as well.